What's up guys, welcome back to the One Man Startup. In today's video, we're finally gonna get into code. Uh, the last video we finished out our design and now we're ready to start developing. So what we're gonna use in this project is Flutter. Flutter is made by Google and this is how it's described. Flutter is Google's portable UI toolkit for building beautiful natively compiled applications for web, mobile, desktop, from one single code base. So basically what that means is we're gonna be able to use one code base to build out both an iOS and an Android app. So yeah, let's get into that and get started with Flutter. All right, so the first thing we need to do to get started with Flutter is go over to flutter.dev. And from here, we can just click this get it started button. From here, we click the get started button. And then we can kind of follow through this install. Uh, I'm on a Mac, so I'll click that. System requirements, I believe I have all of this already installed. Most likely you do as well. Git, maybe you don't. Uh, if not though, it'll probably pop up later and show you or tell you as an error that you have something something missing there. Uh, so download this file. While that's downloading, we'll move to this next piece. Um, so extract it to the desired location. I'm going to put it into code that I already have made, which uh, is just a file in my folder or a folder under my home directory. Uh, let's see. Then we can just copy this. Wait for it to finish. Cool. Unzip that. And then if you go into Finder, you can see code is where I had it. I have it saved here. Uh, now we got all of Flutter there. Cool, so that looks good. Now we want to export the path. So just copy that over. All right, so now Flutter should be in our path. From here, we can run Flutter Doctor to test that Flutter is installed correctly. And it looks good. Yep, so that's working. Um, we can just click OK to this. And now the Flutter Doctor will show us a few errors in our setup that we need to fix. So if you close out of your terminal and try and run Flutter Doctor again, you'll notice that you get a Flutter command not found. And that's because the path is not actually saved to our path. It's only in that one terminal that we did before. So to put it in our path permanently, we can edit the edit our path in the bash profile. So we want to be in our home directory and we can I'll use Adam. So we can just add one, put a little comment. It looks like we want to do something like this. So our path to the, the Flutter Git directory is gonna be the one that we just downloaded. Um, so mine was, I think, if we do code. Yeah, there's Flutter, so let's go into Flutter and then PWD will show us that. So that should be right there. Oh, we already have Flutter. All right, so that should work there. Save this and then close out the terminal window here. Open up a new one. Now if we try the Flutter Doctor command, it should work. Great, yeah, so our path is set up properly now. Uh, looks like Android is not fully working. We're still on version 23. So you can update your Android SDK by going to Android Studio, clicking on Configure, then SDK Manager, and you want to select 9.0 Pi, which is version 28 of the API. Um, just install that. Might take a second. The Android SDK build tools 
it needs to be on eight point or twenty eight as well. So if we go into Android SDK before we're in the SDK platform, keep that on twenty eight, which is nine point zero pi. Move over this tab the SDK tools and right here this first one. We actually want to tick this box show package details and then we can see we don't want twenty three here. We want twenty eight. Point three. All right, hit OK there. Now let's give this one more try. All right, good. So that solved our problem with Android 28. Um, Java looks good too. It looks like there's one more problem with Android, uh, which is the licenses. And I think we can probably resolve that now just by running this command, since everything else is in place. This should just work. And we'll hit yes on that. <clears throat> and we could read through all these licenses, which are basically the Google license for um, Flutter and Android Studio. I'll just yes through all these. There we go. All right, let's see what our Flutter Doctor looks like now. All right, Android toolchain is all set. Now iOS toolchain, not quite there yet. So let's see, first thing, lib i mobile device and i device install are not installed. We can install with brew. I already have brew installed on my computer. If you don't, you can go to just Google how to install Brew, and you should be set with that. I'll put a link in the bio, or I'll put a link in the description. So let's go ahead and if we command D, we can have another terminal open over here so we can see both at the same time. Uh, brew update was giving me an error. You can just skip that and write, and go right to this Brew install here. Um, when you install anything, it normally automatically updates Brew to begin with, so that's just an extra step you don't really need to take if it was giving you a problem. This um, USB MuxD is actually going to allow us to connect to our iOS device. Alright, looks good there. Now we can... I guess we need to link it first. All right, it's already linked. And see, it updates Homebrew again, just because we're installing something new. All right, it looks like this is done. We've run that install there, but I think we're already set. Yeah, we're good there. Um, so if we run this again, that should look good now. Uh, yes, looks good there for Xcode. Uh, the only last thing is this one, which is iOS deploy. Um, let's run that. iOS deploy is going to let us um, debug iPhone apps from the command line without using Xcode, and I'll link that GitHub repo as well. Let's run this one last time, and we should be good with the iOS toolchain now. Yep, iOS is good. Android Studio is missing missing a plugin for Flutter. All right, so the last piece we want to install the Flutter plugin in Android Studio. So to do that, let's open up Android Studio and go to configure and go to plugins and we can browse for flutter search flutter and there it is so install this and restart android studio
All right, great. So we should have our Flutter plugin now in Android Studio. Let's run that one more time. The Flutter Doctor. And yeah, Android Studio looks good now. Dart, I think, automatically gets installed when you install Flutter. Before, we didn't have that. Um, it looks good now. Last thing is we don't have a connected device. There's no device available, which is expected. We don't have anything set up for that yet. But as you can see, everything looks good in our Flutter Doctor now. So if we go back over here, we can continue with our install. We can open an iOS sim simulator. So let's try and do open dash a dash simulator. Now we got a nice iPhone right here. Now we can create a simple Flutter app. Let's go back to the code directory. Let's go here and we'll just run. We'll create a new app and we'll call it the travel budget. As you can see now, we have our connected device, which is that iPhone we just started. Um, so if we move into the new project we just made, which is the travel budget, we can run it. And it's going to run it on that iPhone simulator that we have up over here now. Might just take a second for the first build. All right, cool, and this is the default uh, Flutter demo app. Uh, as you can see, we push the button zero times. If we click it once, there we go. It runs a few times. All right, great, so we got our development environment all set up and we got a working demo app. Um, it's not yet set up to be our app yet, but we have the Flutter demo app working. So this is a great start. Next video, we're gonna dig into the code more and start actually developing our app. All right, ciao for now.